Merhaba. Today we are making biber dolma. It's a delectable dish. Biber means peppers and in our case today it is bell peppers. And dolma is a Turkish word that means to fill and to stuff. So any kind of vegetable that you hollow out and then stuffed with rice, bulgur or ground meat or combination of all of them is referred as dolma. However, I realized that here in the States, a lot of people refer to the rolled wine leaves as dolma. Well, that is not really correct. Uh, in Turkey, we call them sarma based on the Turkish verbs to wrap and to roll. Because what you do is you put the filling in and then you wrap them and then you roll them. Anyway, I think that's enough. Let's get started here. Um, our ingredients for making biber dolma today are bell peppers. I'm using six bell peppers and I kind of chose different colors because I love how they look on the pot. Um, and apart from the bell peppers, I have two onions that I will be chopping. And I have a couple of tomatoes, but most probably I will slice one or two tomato there. And I will be using a lot of fresh herbs because fresh herbs and spices uh, give a lot of flavor to dolma. So I have dill here and I have parsley and I have fresh mint. Oh, I love the fresh mint, not only for dolma, but also in the summer. I love using it for a lot of salads and uh, ground beef. So I have half a pound of ground beef. And I will be mixing ground beef with bulgur and rice. So um, bulgur is cracked wheat and I am using coarse bulgur because I want to make sure that uh, bulgur and rice kind of cook at the same time. And what I did was I calculated about one tablespoon of bulgur for each pepper and one tablespoon of rice for each pepper. And uh, I will be washing them, rinsing them, and that's how I will use them. So um, I love adding a lot of spices to my dolma, especially if I am uh, cooking it with ground beef in addition to bulgur and rice. So I have allspice here and then cumin, black pepper, red pepper, this is mild, but if you like spicy food, you may go for hot spicy pepper. And I will be adding some sumac to it. And I know I'm using fresh mint, but I will also add some dry mint to it. And uh, for the exact amounts of spices, please check the descriptions underneath my YouTube video. And to make the sauce, I will be using some tomato paste. Uh, some butter and of course olive oil and some hot water so we better get started so I put a little bit of olive oil into my pot here and added the ground beef and I have been sauteing the ground beef in the pot uh, for roughly five minutes now and you can see that the color started turning brown so it is time to add the chopped onions I have two small chopped onions here. Uh, if it's a big one, then, you know, just use only one. The onions have been sauteed for almost um, nine minutes now, and I will be adding two tablespoons of butter to it. Uh, when you're using ground beef, I mean, butter also gives a lot of flavor to it. And um, at this stage, I would like to add my uh, washed, rinsed bulgur and rice. I just mix them together here, as you see. There we go. Mm -hmm. Let's stir this all together. This time of the year, because we have such nice tasty tomatoes, I would like to add one tomato. You may peel it and then chop it, or you may just uh, grate it the way I did it. 
it's only one tomato because I will be using some uh, tomato paste pretty soon. So another one or two minutes. Here comes my favorite moment. I will be adding the tomato paste and then the spices. So I will keep rest of the tomato paste for the sauce. But at this stage, I'm adding roughly one tablespoon of tomato paste uh, into the pan. And then um, this here is, let's see, this is half a teaspoon. So I will start with cumin. Half a teaspoon of cumin here. Then comes allspice. I would like to add half a teaspoon of allspice as well. I mean, nothing is critical here. If you don't like allspice, you may not use it. Or if cumin is not your one of your favorite spices, don't use it. And black pepper. This is also about half a teaspoon. But I would like to be more generous with my red pepper. This is mild, as I said. And also my sumac and uh, pepper, uh, dry mint, sorry. Here we go. This is one teaspoon of sumac. And I will use two teaspoons of dry mint. So the next step will be to stir everything and then uh, just make sure with the heat the spices get really mixed up uh, with rice ground beef and bulgur here. And then I will turn off the stove and put the pot to the side and let it cool a little bit. And meanwhile I will be chopping our um, fresh herbs. See you soon. Next is to prepare our bell peppers. Mm, I'll pick the red one. So I will slice the top of the red pepper here and then I will de-seed it. There we go. Just like this. And here is the trick. Um, after you de-seed your bell pepper, you just sprinkle some salt in it. And then with your fingers, you give a good massage to your bell pepper. So um, I have half a cup of fresh mint, half a cup of dill, and half a cup of parsley. If you're missing one of those fresh herbs, I mean, it's not end of the world. It will still taste very flavorful. But I personally like mixing all of them together. And it really makes the dish just to die for. Okay, what I would like to do is just add a drizzle of olive oil to it. We already had uh, some olive oil and some butter as we were sauteing the ground beef and onions and so on. But um, at the last minute adding, I would say maybe two tablespoons of olive oil will kind of bring all the flavors together. Well, uh, filling the peppers is a pretty easy job, as you can imagine. Uh, the only trick here is uh, we don't want to uh, fill the peppers all the way to the top. We want to make sure there is little bit of room on the top because when we add the sauce and the boiling water and uh, start boiling them, uh, rice and bulgur expand and then we don't want them spill over in the pot and you may just use the cap that you sliced off from your pepper that's an alternative or 
I sometimes slice tomatoes and then I just use them as little caps on the top. It's up to you, whichever you choose. Well, as I stuff the peppers here, I would like to take you to one of the most important Greco-Roman archaeological sites in Turkey, Ephesus. It is in the Aegean region of Turkey, about 1 hour 15 minutes south of Izmir, ancient Smyrna. Ephesus was the seat of Roman Empire with a population of 250,000 people, a real metropolis right on the water 2,000 years ago. Let me take you on a stroll to the famous Celsus Library. Here we are walking down the Curate Street. The street was paved with marble, decorated with marble columns and statues of famous Ephesians on both sides and it was decorated with monumental fountains such as the fountain of Emperor Trajan here, temples such as this temple dedicated to Emperor Hadrian, and also houses of wealthy Romans here in downtown Ephesus. The highlight must have been the magnificent Celsus Library. This was the third largest library of the ancient world after Alexandria and Pergamon libraries. It was constructed for the deceased Roman senator Julius Celsus Polymianus by his son as a burial place in the first quarter of the second century AD. Although the exterior was two stories, the interior was laid out in three stories in a rectangular ground plan dominated by an apse in the middle. Underneath the apse, archaeologists found the sarcophagus of Polymianus Celsus. The actual contents of the library, the book scrolls, were housed in cupboard-like niches in the upper two stories of the room, which were accessible from the galleries. Today, this space in front of the library and the Mitridates gate can be used for special events. For example, you may rent the space for a special birthday and have a live concert as you enjoy your birthday dinner with your family and friends. The last step is to make the sauce. So I have uh, one tablespoon of tomato paste here and one tablespoon of butter and then I will pour two cups of hot water. What I will do is I will pour some of it first and then I will mix them. Then I will be adding the rest of the hot water in a minute. Mm. Buttery goodness. So if you were making this with rice and bulgur, then you would have used only olive oil, not butter. Here we go. I have a little bit more water here. So we will put it on the stove now and on medium heat I will cook it for about 20 minutes and 25 minutes maybe. Then I will check how close the rice is to be done. Because remember afterwards we will also put it into the oven for another 10-15 minutes. I have been cooking our stuffed peppers on the stove for about half an hour. So we will open the lid now and see how close we are to be done. I think I can just kick this out a little bit. Here we go. It's 
So it needs a few more minutes, but instead of cooking it further on the stove, I would like to continue cooking them in the oven. So my trick here before I put them into the oven is two tricks. One, I kind of tend to get the sauce and just pour it over the peppers like this. Oops, let's push that. And my second trick is I have like small cubes of uh, butter here. So what I will do is put uh, a cube of butter on each pepper. And I have been heating the oven at um, 375 Fahrenheit. So I will put it into the oven and then uh, cook it there without the lid for another, I would say maybe 15 minutes. Ready to try our biber dolma? Ta-da! Woohoo! It smells so good. Well, two things before I taste it. Um, the first one, I broiled it in the oven just for two minutes. And the second thing, as you see here, I am serving it with garlicky yogurt and I just sprinkled some sumac on it. Some of you may not be very familiar with sumac. Sumac actually uh, grows on a shrub or a small tree and uh, the fruit is ground into this reddish purple powder. And this is a very important spice, especially in the Middle Eastern cuisine. We use it a lot for salads, meat, and it gives this tart, lemony flavor. If you're making some green salad, I mean, sprinkle some sumac on it, and for dressing, just try some lemon juice, olive oil, and pomegranate sauce. It will give a very different flavor to your salad, and you will love it. Sorry, I can't wait. Let's try this. Mm. So I also put a little bit of the sauce there because I kind of like uh, the flavor of the sauce. It gives some moisture to the uh, peppers. Wow. Mm. Mm. It is so good. I just love it. Thank you. Thanks for watching.